See one of them all then run. You're not my other, more like a brother. I know you since we were like 10. Yeah. Don't mess it up, talking like this. Only gonna push me away, that's it. When you say you love me, that make me crazy. You yeah. Well, good evening, Sumter School District boys and girls, and welcome to a special evening of reading with the superintendent. While we are on winter break, we just need to provide that opportunity where you can engage in reading and also having fun. And so tonight, it gives me great, great pleasure to introduce to you the one, the only, Major Eskridge. So good evening, Major Eskridge. How are you? I'm well, ma'am. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm just dandy. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for you to be here. So can you share some information with our viewers so they can know and have an understanding of why I'm so excited to have you? Of course. So tonight we're going to be reading um, one of my favorite books. So Snowman at Night. I love this book. And, you know, I'm, I'm stationed out here at Shaw Air Force Base. I'm a logistics officer. Um, so we're just really excited. I'm excited to be a part of this, the reading project. So, so, you know, we love when we share information about professional positive women. So what is someone who does logistics? What does that mean? So pretty much anything that moves on the base, we have a part of it. So we put the fuel on the jets that go up in the air. We um, fix all the vehicles that are on base, the military vehicles. We move all the parts that come in. So think like FedEx, Exxon, Walmart, warehousing, that's, we do all that for the base. Understood. So in other words, you do a whole bunch that's important and very secretive and it keeps our base running. Yes, ma'am. So as you've already said, we're reading Snowmen at Night, and it's one of your favorite books. And so I'm excited to read your favorite book with you, and I know our viewers are. So let me make sure I have their attention. So I usually do a call and response where I say one, two, three, all eyes on me, and the students and the viewers respond by saying one, two, all eyes on you. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and do that now that we've practiced. So one, two, three, all eyes on me. One, two, all eyes on you. Eyes on you. I'm, re I'm ready to go, Major. I'm ready to go. So we're going to read Snowmen at Night, your favorite book by Carolyn Bruner and pictures by Mark Bruner. Hmm, I'm wondering if they're related. Let's go ahead and read. One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. That's a nice snowman. Major, have you ever built a snowman? I have. I used to live where it was very snowy in Japan, so we've made a lot of snowmen. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I've only made really small snowmen because I'm from Maryland. It snows and sometimes it snows, sometimes it doesn't. But when it does, I try to make a snowman, but I'm making snowballs. <laughs> his hat had slipped. His arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? That's a good question. I wonder what they do. I don't know. Let's find out. Absolutely. I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They look like they're having fun. Already they do. Wonder what's next. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Did they say ice cold cocoa? They did, because if it was hot, it would melt them, I think. <laughs> I think so, but I've never had ice cold cocoa, but I think I can go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a... I think so. <laughs> but I would get something else ice because I don't drink coffee. I should probably. <laughs> Then the snowmen games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. Wow, they look like they're having a grand time. 
Uh oh, do you hear the planes? Do. <laughs> they I love hear them. Well, that means if they're coming this way, I'll hear them in a minute. Probably. <laughs> they may be going the other way because Maybe. I don't hear them yet. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I can read that. <laughs> After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Have you ever been ice skating? I have. You have? So I never much. have. Oh no, I wonder if they do it somewhere in South Carolina. It's so hot here. It is. Um, I know how to rollerblade. Does that count? That's, I think so. I think that's like summer ice skating. That counts. <laughs> Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. Oh, man. Snowman, they're making an angel. I saw that little snowman angels. Have you ever made an angel in the snow? I have, yeah. I've done that now. <laughs> and you get snow on your jacket. <laughs> I, I hear your jets. Oh, dear. They're, so, they're so loud, but they're going in a different direction. But they gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim. And underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. So they're playing baseball with something that I said I like. I love Yeah. I wonder if the snowball explodes when they hit it. It depends on how well it's packed together. But I'm going to shift it a little bit. I love snowballs. Not yeah. that kind of snowball, but the snowball that's in a cup with flavor. Some people call them snow cones. <laughs> and a little cream, maybe ice cream. And custard. There you go. With I marshmallow. <laughs> No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. <laughs> That's cute. Snowmen with a snowball fight. <laughs> Absolutely. Just as long as they don't throw each other. <laughs> then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. So have you ever gone sledding? I have. It was so much fun. I didn't even fall off, so it was awesome. Yeah, I've been sledding, and when I was in elementary school, I fell off. And let's just oh. say that was the last time I ever went down that hill. My oh. grandmother had some things to share with me when I got home, and my oh. little fur jacket had mud on it. So that's another conversation for another time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Am I doing what? Wahoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. It's fun. It's actually I, fun. They're having lots of fun. <laughs> Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy. So they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. I wonder why they're leaving. I, well, they're talking out, but I think there's another reason why they're leaving. By the sign, maybe. Maybe. I think so. So, if your snowman's grin is crooked, or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. Aww. This is very nice and a nice picture. I love that one. They're all in the little swing set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the one has a pickle nose. Did you see that? I didn't, but I do now. <laughs> it matches his scarf. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> so what do you think the takeaway from this book may be for our children or our viewers? I think the takeaway is, even if you make an awesome snowman and he's not the same the next day, it's okay. He had lots of fun, and you did too, making the snowman, right? So you just Absolutely. make another one. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And I would agree with you. My, my message or my takeaway is, you know, sometimes it becomes challenging as young adults for us to navigate through these times. But just as long as you are finding time and opportunity to have fun, it will be all right. I agree. I agree. So, Major Eskridge, let me just say thank you for reading. Not only just reading to our children, but allowing them to see the opportunities that exist in our armed forces and that women are just as equipped mentally to do those roles that have traditionally been done by men. And so not only do you serve as a role model for our young ladies, but for our young men as well. I just want to thank you for taking time out of your very, very busy schedule. Um, I appreciate you, I respect you, and I want to say thank you for all that you do for not just Sumter, but for the entire United States of America. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Same goes to you. It's not an easy job what you're doing, and I appreciate you so much, you and all the teachers. It's definitely a thankless job, but we're very grateful for people like you who are out there every day teaching the kids. Absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. But they are the world. They are the future. They are my world, I meant. So and maybe we can do this again in the very near future. So think of Absolutely. it as a book and that we can share with our children. And so to our viewers, I want to say thank you for joining us and to Major Eskridge. I say thank you, ma'am. And I hope everyone is enjoying your time off. So have a great evening and I'll see you very soon. Good night and thank you, Major. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Amen.